everybody, this is Captain Orlando Muniz with Nomad Fishing Charters and today we're going to be doing the second part or the follow up to the Sabiki video we shared a few weeks ago uh, where we taught you how to rig the rod and how to get everything ready and do it the proper way. Today we're actually going to be attempting to catch some uh, threadfin herring for an upcoming tournament um, that we plan to be doing in a couple weeks. So hopefully we can uh, catch some bait and uh, show you how to do it. We're also going to show you probably how to catch some, a few other different types of bait that may show up. And hopefully we'll get some good footage for you that uh, you can enjoy it. Now that we have reached our first spot, first order of business is to set the anchor and put out a block of chum. The ground chum will help uh, the bait find the boat and get them into a little bit of a frenzy where we can uh, catch them a little bit easier. It also keeps them around the boat and keeps them interested. The chum's been out for a little bit and valley here showing up. Also some herring are starting to show up. So far the herring have been pretty finicky. They don't really want to eat too much, but hopefully they'll turn on here. There's also some blue runners coming into the uh, to the chum. I'll shake the bag a little bit. And hopefully you can see them there. They're coming in and out. There they are darting around right, right in front of the ballyhoo. There's the ballyhoo there. Those flashes you see are mostly blue runners. Some herring might be mixed in. I'm not trying to catch the ballyhoo, but if I did, all I would have to do is pitch my bait up on the surface and just retrieve it up nice and high, close to the surface. That'll usually catch me a ballyhoo or two. Just like that. That's the difference between catching ballyhoo and catching uh, herring. Now again, I'm not fishing for the ballyhoo today. Normally if I was out fishing on a charter or fun fishing, I would catch those ballyhoo because they made excellent bait. You could troll them, you could fish them on the bottom, you could fish them on the surface. I'm going to catch you another just to show you. But again, that's not my target today. Here's a couple more. Oh, lost one there on the way up. That's pretty normal. Now you got to get the ballyhoo off the hooks really fast because they have a bill and they will tangle your your leader. They do a number on the uh, they do a number on the sabiki with that bill. So you want to get them off real quick. I'll do one more and then I'll go back to uh, catch it. Trying to catch your herring. Pretty skittish so far. with any bait fish is to get them in the well as fast as possible. Now I'm going to go back to trying to catch the herring which is my real target today. There you go. A little blue runner. They're also good, very good bait. Use them for 
for tight fishing, bottom fishing, pink fish love them. Check out these two small black tip sharks circling our chum bag. They're both looking for an easy meal. One of them actually took a bite out of the chum bag and opened a big hole in it. Locations. This location here, there's a bunch of little jacks, there's some ballyhoo, uh, some cigar minnows mixed in. Day, you could take your leftover baits and carefully scoop them up and put them in a bait cage and they'll be good for next time. The key is to get them no more than one or two at a time.
have it. Those are some happy baits.